I too sing America. I am the darker brother. They send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes, but I laugh and eat well and grow strong. Tomorrow I'll eat at the table when company comes. Nobody will dare say to me, eat in the kitchen then. Besides, they'll see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. I too am America. Thank you, Zion Mosley Brinkley, for sharing that powerful poem by Langston Hughes. Hello, my name is Tony Smith, and I am the Director of Community Affairs for Opera Project Columbus. We'd like to welcome you to this historic presentation taking place at the historic Lincoln Theater in Columbus, Ohio. You are about to hear some gorgeous operatic pieces written by African-American composers and performed by Central Ohio's best singers. Now, I know there are many opera fans out there, but some of you may not like opera. That was me until I started attending the opera and realized that I was familiar with much of this music, having been exposed since childhood from Bugs Bunny cartoons to movies like The Shawshank Redemption and Miss Congeniality and countless commercials. We hope you enjoy this production and also learn something about the African-American composers whose work has been little known and underappreciated. I would like to introduce you to local seventh grader Naomi Baker to introduce our first selection. Thank you, Dr. Smith. We would like to welcome to the stage Crystal Sellers Battle a professor of music and department chair at Bluffton University, where she teaches voice and vocal pedagogy and conducts the university and community gospel choir. Dr. Battle has studied at The Ohio State University, the Royal Northern College of Music in Manchester, England, and has earned additional degrees from Chicago College of the Performing Arts at U Roosevelt University and Bowling Green State University. The pieces you'll be hearing are by two of the greatest arrangers of spirituals of all time, Margaret Bonds and Moses Hogan. Bonds, born in Chicago in 1913, began her musical studies with her mother, who was a trained musician. In the late 20s, she was admitted to Northwestern University, where despite encountering racism, graduated with a master's degree in 1934. The same year, she became the first African-American to perform with the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. She is remembered for her work as a composer of both original works and arrangements of spirituals and was friends with Langston Hughes. Hogan, originally from New Orleans, was encouraged by his parents to explore his musical gifts and was in the first graduating class of New Orleans Center for Creative Arts. He continued his studies at Oberlin Conservatory of Music and the Juilliard School. He was known as a pianist, conductor, and arranger, best known for his spirituals, which he published nearly 100 pieces and were internationally known. And now, Crystal Sellers, accompanied by Professor Ed Bach. Jesus, give me Jesus. 
call. I am the daughter of Geraldine Elizabeth Fitzpatrick, and my mother was an opera singer. My mother was born in Somerset, Kentucky, and she went to Knoxville College, where she graduated, um, got her bachelor's degree. She moved to Chicago, where she met my father. They were studying uh, to get their master's in music. My father played the uh, trumpet. She was a singer, opera singer, and uh, they married. <sighs> I just have wonderful stories about she traveled with a quartet in college and she sang how she loved to sing and her shopping for all these beautiful gowns that she wore. I appreciate her because she brought something into my life that I didn't know, you know, how fabulous it was. You know, as a kid, I, I really didn't understand opera music because I was born in the, uh, in the era where 
We like to hear um, Marvin Gaye and James Brown and uh, Diana Ross and the Supremes. And then I'd hear my mother, you know, practicing to sing because she did travel around in uh, Chicago singing for churches. She did have a beautiful voice, but my sister and I, we can remember those times when we were going like, oh, we gotta hear this. This is not what we wanna hear. But I am just so glad that we did have that experience uh, to hear, you know, dad playing his trumpet and then mom singing and practicing opera. We have a real appreciation for it now, but then we didn't. And I just would love it if more children had that experience. Hats off to mom. She was a, a beautiful lady and gave me some, a lot of wisdom and a lot of uh, experience in the music world. Our next performer, Hannah Bullock, will sing, I Want to Die While You Love Me by Rosephany Powell. This song comes from a collection of songs called Miss Wheatley's Garden. This collection honors America's first black poet, Phyllis Wheatley, who was born in 1755. Wheatley was brought from Africa to America at age seven or eight. By the age of 12, she was reading the Bible, ancient Greek, and Latin. She wrote her first poems at age 13, and before she turned 20, a book of 39 of her poems was published in London. It was the first book to be published by a black American. Rosephany Powell is recognized as one of America's most important composers of choral music. Her works are performed widely at choral festivals around the country, and her music has also been presented at Lincoln Center and Carnegie Hall in New York City. Dr. Powell holds degrees from Florida State University, Westminster Choir College, and Alabama State University. She currently serves as Professor of Voice at Auburn University. Hannah Bullock is a native of Columbus, Ohio. She made her professional debut in Opera Columbus concert series, The Voice of Freedom, Civil Rights. She is a recent graduate of Ohio University and also holds a degree in music technology from Capital University. Welcome to the stage, Hannah Bullock. Thank you. 
the music should come in your blood, you should put your passion, uh, musicality. You have to love this music, understand, go inside of the music and let this music be yours. But sometimes when you put the passion on it, you can create something life, some electricity that you pass to the audience, that you do, and create a level that other people, other orchestra cannot do it. Opera Project Columbus is unique. We now welcome to the stage educator and soprano, Dr. Dion Parker Bennett. Leslie Adams is one of the preeminent African-American uh, composers in the United States. He's written for all media, including opera, symphony, vocal works, instrumental, chamber. He's done it all. He has a very, very distinct voice. He was born in 1932 in Cleveland, Ohio, where he still resides. His works have been featured by such orchestras as Cleveland Orchestra, all the way to the Prague Radio Symphony. He holds degrees from Oberlin, Long Beach State, and yes, the Ohio State University. The piece that I'm singing uh, since You Went Away is from a group of pieces called Night Songs. And all of these songs feature poets that are African-American. This one happens to be written by James Weldon Johnson. And if you're looking at the program and you see Sense spelled S-E-N-C-E, -E, know that that is not a mistake. This poetry features the African dialect since you went away. Seems like to me the stars don't shine so bright. Seems like to me the sun done lost its light seems right to me there's nothing going right since you went away
I Too Sing America is another song by the incomparable Margaret Bonds. It's part of a song set called Three Dream Portraits. All of these songs have the poetry of Langston Hughes. The songs are Dream Variations, I Too Sing America, and Minstrel Man. This particular piece talks about how in America, I too, even as the darker brother, can sing. And before, I used to be in the kitchen, but now I dream that I'm going to be at the table when company comes. And people will see how beautiful I really am. On behalf of Opera Project Columbus, we'd like to thank you for tuning in. Our goal is to bring these beautiful pieces into the mainstream where they belong. If you'd like a copy of this performance, you can contact us at operaprojectcolumbus.com. Please be sure to follow our Facebook page for the most up-to-date news from Opera Project Columbus, and we hope you will join us in the theater for a live performance soon. Thank you.
Oh. Uh-huh.